I just press start streaming. I just don't, I don't, I don't know why I do this to myself. What I do when I, I get everything set up, get everything set up, show the relaxing sound of music. Where's that gone? Where's your relaxing sound of music? Oh, I was just starting a new, new track. Removed version. Just skip that one. One, two, Chuffy, one, two. One, two, Chuffy, one, two. Okay. Okay. So, where's the chat? Where's the chat? <laughs> if you want to chat, you can chat. If you want to rap, you should be able to rap. So, uh, thank you. There's your chat. There's me. I'm me. Hi, oh, you're with Scott. This is Ganji Kid, my stream. It's midnight. It's always midnight. It's close on that. It's 22.13 on a Friday. We live in the UK here. Live. Live in the UK. Live in the UK. Same same spelling. Left ear. Right ear. Yeah. I've got a cup of... You could call it hot chocolate. It's hot and chocolatey, I'll tell you that. It's actually milkshake mix. <laughs> I've put boiling water into, like a cup of tea. So I've made myself like a hot water milkshake, chocolate. And uh, I think what we're doing now, this evening now, a bit of a surprise stream. Like no one's going to know we're here for a start. No one's going to know we're here. But you know what I'm like. I like doing my little list, little quiet surprise streams, and having no one know that we're doing them, so that uh, <laughs> they go up on YouTube. The content. And I could edit it if I want to, if something good happens. See on my coat, see that? My zip broke this week. My zip broke. And <laughs> I had my jacket done up. I had my jacket done up like that. And my zip broke off. Oh, that's a chuffer. And I thought that doesn't matter that much, does it? It's just the thing of the zip. So I carried on the dog walk. When I got to the car, I'm, like, I'm hot, I'm going to take off the jacket. And it wouldn't budge the chuffer. It wouldn't budge. It's got like a zip lock and I had to insert something metal into it so it thought it was still a I want to say key fob this is a key fob <laughs> so now I've got a working zip but I look like a bit of a dork with my my dog tags what it is is it's out of a cracker it's a key fob that's also I don't know if you can see that it's, it's also a very small ruler so if you want to measure anything five centimetres or less, <laughs> that's handy. I mean, it's handy because people are always trying to measure things. Well, five centimetres or less, but in integers of five centimetres. You can do the full metre. We just have to take it step by step. Uh, it's that. And on the other end, it's just got a serrated, not like serrated that you'd hurt yourself, but just like slightly serrated edge. Don't know to what end. Maybe it's like a woodworker's marking but then you wouldn't want it on your keys <laughs> so anyway what we're doing in this stream is oh, I should have done that straight away should know what you're doing in this stream what are you doing in this stream what are you doing I'll tell you what I'm doing I know what I'm doing I don't know what you're doing <laughs> I don't know what you're doing mate what I'm doing mate what I'm doing in this stream is we're going to look at competitive eating Badlands book at oh, what right I'll tell you for why I'll tell you for why Earlier on, web browsing, web browsing. Earlier on, I was just doing some YouTube watching. <laughs> just watching the old YouTube as you do. That's what I was watching. That's my history there. That's my history. Chris Yu banking his face off. Demon Hunter, Dane. Like, I gave up Hearthstone. I sat out Alterac Valley. Sat it out. But Dane's making me want to come back because he's playing all these decks that I actually really like the way they roll. I, it's a kind of like I hate you <laughs> Hearthstone deck setup, um, and I've got all the cards just don't have the Ultra Valley cards but he's not using many Ultra Valley cards I could get them kind of makes me want to come back. anyway that's not what we're doing what we're doing is that's my watching earlier and uh, look at this one he chug so it's just a little short that came up so I watched it I didn't watch this chuffing advert to start with that I can chuff off like, I'm not going on holiday there chuff off right it just this came up. And Badlands got a slow start there. 
T. Kenny a little bit dripping out of his mouth. No dripping, Kenny. And Badlands, and this is very, very close. Now Badlands, oh, there goes a belch. Badlands taking the time for a belch. Badlands back at it, less than half to go. And the big man, oh, T. Kenny trying. Badlands book So, something, things occurred to me. I could drink, I reckon I could drink my cup of hot chocolate before he drank that lemonade. Uh, <laughs> some things occurred to me. Right, chugs for the win. I don't know what this is. I've never seen anything like this. I mean, I know they have competitive eating hot dog competition. I've heard about. I've seen it in the movies. You know, in the movies where it's in the movies or on The Simpsons where they have it on The Simpsons. I've seen that. Shh, got to be quiet because some people are in bed. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that, but I haven't. I don't know. Like, I didn't know it was like they, they've got like a stadium. They got all people. This fella. This fella, he's got bounty on his. I think that's a sponsor, isn't it? Is that a sponsor? Has he got like a team jersey? The people on the stage appear to have team jerseys. Is this like serious, organised competitive eating? <laughs> is that what's going on? What's going on? What is going on? He chugged it. He's got his jumpers from the hot dog eating contest 2021. So that's just like a different jumper. It's not a team jumper. Look at his tum. Tum tum. <laughs> I mean, I'm not dissing people for the way they look. But if you're going to eat loads and loads and drink loads and loads and put your tum tum out like that. Because that, that health, oh, it looks unhealthy to me. Looks a little bit unhealthy. You know, like I've heard the expression said in the past that... He, Inside every chuffer, there's a, a thin chuffer trying to get out. I, I can kind of see it. I can, you can see this this fellow like with a, you know, if you, you visualise away a chin, <laughs> you know, you know, just visualise that. It, you could see that it just like there's a normal chuffer there, and then on top of it, there's just like all this extra. Fuck, like, but he's a professional chuffing eater, isn't he? So maybe that's like part of it. Maybe it's good for your professional eating. I don't know. Not this. I'm just saying. Like, look at the image I'm being presented with of this like behemoth and his uh, like extraordinary. Like, ah, <laughs> yelling. Is he? Bur they say he's burping in the commentary, but I don't know if he's just yelling and like pausing to burp and yell and pull that face in the hot sun whilst chugging the hello. <laughs> what's up? What's up? I'll tell you what's up. We're just having to look at some professional... This is the first time I've ever seen... Oh, thank you. Thank you. I've just decided to um, commit to just making some nice ASMR. I'll tell you what I'm really doing as well. I've done it already. This weekend that will drop. You get a sneak... sneak. You, you can find out early now. This weekend that will drop is I've put all the... I don't know. This sounds weird. This, I'm like, oh, it does sound a bit weird. Let's show you. <laughs> Let's show you. Because uh, I am a bit weird. So why not? It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna sound all right, isn't it? Yeah, it'll be fine. True binaural, that's me. True binaural ASMR, that's me. And if you go on the old channel here, and you have a look at the recent uploads, it should. This is what it looks like. Recent uploads here. Now, twelve minutes. Twelve minutes. Twelve. What? Uh, <laughs> since the roughly since the incident, <laughs> we don't call it. We don't use that word here. We just call it the incident. <laughs> I can't, do you know what, I'm not, I don't want to go on about it over and over again because it makes me seem like, you know, I'm living in the past. But, <laughs> no, but, uh, like, it just was a silly little thing. Like, someone just used a little bit of my video and I was like, do you mind, like, taking that out? Or alternatively, you could make a little video for charity about mental health and I'll leave, go ahead, keep it in the video, you choose. And then, like, overnight it turned into, oh, everyone hates you. Everyone hates you. And I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Now I hate everyone, I suppose. Like, forget it, forget it, forget it. It's just so weird, isn't it? So what I meant to say was it's something so little, like, you know, a few little emails here and there that so it just turns into something so, like, um, seemed to be quite important in some people's minds. They felt quite, quite seriously about it all. <laughs> anyway, the old ASMR, right? Now that's on chat now. That's in chat now. It's sitting up there on the video for forever now. You've got to chat, chat some more to get rid of it, look. <laughs> Make it scrub up. Make it scrub. <laughs> um, so anyway, look. The point I was making is the ASMR videos here. Twelve minutes. 
12 minutes, 12 minutes. So what I've been, I know this is gonna make me sound like a chuffer, isn't it? It's gonna make me, what are you doing? 12 minutes, <laughs> but it's midnight, it's always midnight. And the videos say 1200. Right. I couldn't make them say 888, 888. Oh, I could, couldn't I? I could make one say 888, 888, because that's when your alarm clock, do you remember? When your alarm clock, or 0000, zero, zero, zero but you can't have 0000, zero, zero, zero. that would never work. Um, when your alarm clock used to go, the power used to go. I don't know if this happened to you, everyone. When the, you had a digital alarm clock, I did. <laughs> Back in the olden days, when you had digital alarm <laughs> Not in the olden days where you wound them up with a piece of cheese. Um, next video, I, oh yeah, I forgot about the videos. <laughs> Just do the intro over and over again. <laughs> I'll tell you what I want to do one day, is I want to cut the intro from every video into one long video. That would work, wouldn't it? We could do it together on stream one day. Um, so at the end, you've got your alarm clock and it's digital. And what happens is the power goes off and then you wake up and the alarm's just flashing 0000 or 8888 it It's like just flashing that. It's just flashing and you go, oh God, the power went off. The alarm clock's not like, if it's always midnight or it's just in that, you know when your alarm clock's just doing that and you're in this nether world of there's no time because the alarm clock doesn't know what the time is. You've woken up. No one knows what the time is. Until you can figure this out, there is no time. Nether world, always midnight. Um, we could, so, but, <laughs> so what I've done is they all last 12 minutes now recently. I thought it was clever. I liked it. Thought, I thought, you know, you can have a bit of that. I don't know if it's good in terms of what's the longest video you like and all that. So what I've done, because I know that people like longer form videos to sleep to and stuff like that. So, and I know that there's adverts on this shit now. <laughs> Sick shit. Chuff on this stuff now. YouTube, you know, they, like I said, they sent me the letter. You're either having adverts or you're having adverts. There's no difference. It's just that you don't. I was like, all right, we'll have them, but you're not having them in the middle of the video, you chuffy. You can't have them in the middle of the video. I'll click turn that one off, turn that one off. They're not happening in the middle. Um, but anyway, I thought people might want a long video. And I'm making these 12 minutes because I'm, I'm already rubbing my hands about 12 minutes. <laughs> what, a, what a lovely little, I like it, little um, motif. Uh, but some people are like, oh, I like long videos. So what I think I'm going to do, I already have, already have done, already have done, is I put them all together into an hour long and it's exactly an hour, exactly. So we've got all of the January, it's like an anthology of January. And so that'll go live this weekend. Um, I hope it doesn't mean people don't watch these videos, but if they wanna watch them all together in one big bundle with no adverts in the middle, maybe I should just withhold this. <laughs> maybe I should just withhold it for patrons or withhold it from members or something. But it seems a very simple thing for me to do, to bundle them together so that the people who like to listen to them all in a row don't have to keep having a new video come up a new video it's worse for my views because it'd be better if they watch them all individually <laughs> but it's better for them so we're going to do that that's going to go this sunday and we'll just see how it works we'll just see if it's popular or if people if it kills these other videos if these recent videos stop getting views because of the like superseded by the anthology i won't be happy with that but <laughs> take it down just take it down then hide it behind the cheeky paywall. I haven't got really a big cheeky paywall. Anyway, look, that's what's happening with that. So thanks very much for saying that you like it. I'm pumping it out. <laughs> got an idea for this week's record. We're set up ready to record over there for the ASMR. Got an idea for this week's video. Tomorrow recording. Just got to feel in the zone. Sit down, whisper it out, get it out of my head into the whispered world. This fella chugged a gallon of lemonade. For the win. He didn't just drink it. He didn't just drink it. This was for the win. What kind of win? Oh. Yes. Yes, my man. Yes. This guy's not... Oh. Sour taste of defeat, Bounty Boy. <laughs> Sponsored by Bounty, so you can say that, Bounty Boy. Oh. And the other fella just popping his vase of lemonade down there. Uh, the other fella's wearing that similar, it's like they're wearing a, is it like a team jersey? It's like a professional team. The crowd have got hot dogs on their hats, they're loving it. They've got the hot dog hats, these are the, 
This is the Pro Leagues look. It's got Bounty sponsoring it behind it and Nathan's. I think Nathan's make hot dogs. This might be a hot dog eating con. There's some hot dogs in the background. I think it's got something to do with hot dogs, this one. Hot dogs, obviously not vegan, but you can get vegan ones. Ah, he says. Ah. And then that's like a combination of a burp and a scream. Nathan's famous. Oh, look, Nathan's fa That's it. They're all the Nathan's sponsored t-shirts, aren't they? Now I get it. Now I get it. I'm only learning. I'm only learning. He's, they've all got the sponsor. They're not a team. It's sponsored by Bound. You have to wear this t-shirt if you're going to be in the competition, mate. Well, have you got on my size? <laughs> Don't worry. We sort of have got one in your size that we will stretch to make fit. <laughs> get it on Get it on him. That's not going over my head, mate. Get it over his head. Tell you what they've done. If I'm not mistaken, what they've done is they've cut the back off. And they've just put it on like a hospital gown. But if he turns around, they just cut a line down, they cut it down the back, hospital gown. Well, that's the way you put that chuffer on. Ah. Oh my god! Oh my god! So I watched that, yeah, and I'm like, what the? So now Google Badlands Booker. Now this is where we start. This is just it. This is the stream tonight for me for an hour. Doing some real high, high. Uh, High level chuff tonight. We're doing some high level chuff. So I already know that I've got an opinion on this because I'm a chuffing vegan. It's like, what are you doing? This one's non alcoholic chuck, fine. Like, I guess that's the first thing that's come up. What's also come up first is I thought I was going to get like this world of professional eating. Like, um, I'm a professional eater, therefore I'm in a team and we go to these competitions. This, it's not really, it's got his own YouTube videos, YouTube channel. 3 million subscribers. 3 million. And it's straight off the bat. It's this sort of... Uh, do you remember when we did Weird Tube? And we did that guy... Um, he's dead now. <laughs> he's dead now. Uh, and he ate all that stuff. 100 packets of fire sauce. He's dead now, isn't he? 100... 1,000... Packets of fire sauce. He's dead now. Air, one of those came up for ASMR. Oh no, it's the buck, buck, buck mangers. The buck mangers. It's the buck mangers. That's not what I was looking for. Not muck bangers. Twelve year old eats plutonium. Scoville night. What? What are you doing? Muck bangers. He didn't wash his hair for 15 years. That's horrific. I'm not a fan of that. Sparklers in the toilet. What's going on with YouTube? What is going on with YouTube? All I wanted was my old friend, and all I've got is this is what's happened since the days of uh, Ralph Schneider. That's his name, Ralph Schneider. Ralph Schneider. Ralph Schneider. Ralph. What? Is it because he's dead? Is he gone? I hope when I die, I hope they don't disappear all my videos. You know, if I die unexpectedly, I expect you chuffers to rip everything and re upload it. <laughs> You have my blessing. If I'm dead unexpectedly, and uh, no one's, you know, no one from my my estate <laughs> is trying to profit from any of my work, then uh, you've you've all got my blessing to uh, just, you know, re-upload it, make it exist, because you know, I'd hate, I'd hate for it to just disappear because I'm dead. No, Ralph Schneider, Tiny Tim, Ralph Schneider, Tiny Tim. Not even my video about him. Not even my video about him. Hang on, hang on. Um. Weird, weird, how can I spell weird? Weird, weird tube, 1000, I think I called it that, packets of fire sauce. I mean that's the title of my channel and, what? <laughs> it's a bit weird isn't it? Weird Tube, what else could it be called? Um, how would I get to Weird Tube? I just do that. I mean, I'll filter it as a channel. I mean, it's probably not going to be the number. <laughs> no, it's called Weird Tube, so I'd at least put it up the top of weird stuff. 
Oh no, there's like so many. Look, look at this. I'm never going to be able to find it. What I want to see is Tiny Tim Rauschnader are doing some eating, mate. There's no big shinging dings. Is it? Look at all this. Never, never going to find that. What other stuff did I have on it? Um, I had Commodore Gilgamesh. Com that's, I can't even spell it. Um, I know what you, tell mommy what you did. Tell mommy what you did. I mean, that is, that has to bring it. Yes, thank you. 530 views. <laughs> Weird tube. Videos. 100 packets of fire sauce. Maybe it didn't come, I don't know why it didn't come. Look, here's me, man. Well, let's answer your question. What, uh, you don't have to, don't worry, you don't have to tip money to pay answer questions here. I'll just answer them. <laughs> um, what genre of music do I listen to? Do you know what? Honestly, these days, I don't actually listen to that. Uh, how do I put it? Um, I listen to one or two little tracks here and there that I really like. like I say Amazon, Amazon I say. Not, I'm not going to say her name because she'll start kicking off. A-L-E-X-A, -E I say. Amazon, playing, you know, this song that I've got in my head and it'll just bang it out. And like that could be anything from the Red Hot Chili Peppers to uh, um, Roots Reggae. Like it, it just really, I have like a varied and eclectic, sometimes it's even classical. Um, uh, and a couple of songs that they sort of take me, like my mood of a time, if that makes sense. So I play it a lot over a certain period of time and how like a summer song or a you know winter song or whatever. Uh, most recently, my most favorite song recently has been Animal by Mike Snow. Um, but when I was growing up, it was... Do I know Holding Absence? No. I'll tell you what. If it's beyond the last... If it's happened in the last 20 years, probably not. <laughs> uh, I sort of stuck to... pre millennium music is just like... There's still a few things that have got through the filter. But there was like a point where I sort of... Was, like I used to... I'll tell you what. I used to love music so much that I used to be out buying records all the time and like like in it and with the DJing and the drum and bass like I grew up on and was like honed on rock music and like punk um, and rock and then like when I got into drum and bass like I went to go out and buy a lot of records like physical vinyl records to DJ on and then like when I sort of moved through and you know I don't know like I sort of just stopped having the same it take I, I just it, it seems to take a lot of uh, what's the word is it commitment or like passion, I guess. And like the more I got interested in other things, the more I just sort of said, like, I've got music I like now. <laughs> That's on my iPod. I don't need to keep looking. <laughs> I'll look at other stuff now. Um, I need to give them a try. They love music. Yeah, I'll have a look. What now? I got Now I've got to talk about people who eat. <laughs> um... I can just go backwards, can't I, for going this? This better not be naughty. <laughs> uh, music there, look. Oh, wait, no, wait, I can't play their music, can I? Because I'll be playing music on the stream. So I'll look at that afterwards. Kerrang, oh, Kerrang, that's my sort of thing, yeah. <laughs> I like that. I like the way, it, it, theoretically, if Kerrang have put their stamp on it, then I should be into that. Um, <laughs> do you know, I was in Kerrang once. I was in Kerrang. Here's a big face story. My mate has actually got a band and he's actually in Kerrang legitimately as they write articles about his band. They're called uh, Lim, L-I-M-B. Um, but uh, once we went to a gig, I went to a gig and I think it was, was it Green Day or was it Deftones? Anyway, in Kerrang they used to have a little thing on the, in, the <laughs> in the magazine. Like It was like a personal ad, like I classified that I met you at a gig but I don't know who you are and like and I was in it once this, this girl put a thing in like you were wearing a red t-shirt and we were stood by this thing and I was like that was me <laughs> supposed to work the other way around like the boy's supposed to put the thing in you know oh, I'm I, elusive lady <laughs> our paths crossed you know I hope to see you again it's before the internet so you couldn't just like you know let's get their home number <laughs> home number yeah yeah never hooked up with that girl in the end though um, what's going on? You think there's no problem to listen? You think there's no problem? You think there's no problem? I'll tell you what, I'm using video game music that definitely is no problem. I do like two minutes of this and then it gets us 
chuffed off. You, you're pretty sure. You're pretty sure. You're not running the chuffing stream. <laughs> you're, you're sure. Oh my god. It'll be like that. Look. It'll be like that. We'll be falling out of the plane. Why am I... Why am I pandering to the advert? Get away, the advert. Get off. Away, the advert. Where is the... That can be paused. This can be opened. Okay, that's as much as I'm going to let us listen to. <laughs> it does sound good. I like the um, fusion of the classic instruments, like the piano underpinning the uh, quite like what is now quite honed and studio uh, studio sharp. Um, do you still call it rock? <laughs> you still call it rock alternative edge? You know, it's like got it's got a, a nice fusion there, a nice fusion. I'm not going to judge the video at all because I think I don't want to. Like with new music, I like to hear the music and just judge it on the music. Post hardcore, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. So it's a that's a nice fusion. I imagine there's lots of good stuff by them. I'll I'll look into it. I'll look into it. A touch of emo. You see, emo came after my time. Emo. I don't know what defines emo. I think emo was a look and then became a music in a way. But uh, maybe cold chamber emo. I don't know. Um, this guy chugged a gallon of lemonade. <laughs> Getting confused, you chuffer. 100 packets of fire sauce. It's me talking about him. This is the original guy, look. Let's just go web of browser so you can see him. This is the original. <coughs> Tiny Tim is passionate about eating <coughs> so like this was before uh mukbang wasn't it it's was before mukbang in america you, you had like competitive eating so it's not like a, a brand new concept but he was on the internet eating loads of chuff way before the old mukbangers wasn't he eating this this tiny tim rauschnader 100 packets of fire sauce mate He's here. He is. He's here. Oh, thank God. I thought he'd, I thought he'd gone. He has gone. He's dead. <laughs> Don't laugh because he's dead. I mean, it was his own fault for chuffing all this stuff in himself, wasn't it? Rest in peace, my love. Oh, do you know what? We're going to have to watch that. Arby's venison sandwiches. No, no thanks. 89-year-old man play with fidget spinner. What's going on? Are people maintaining his channel after his death? Is that allowed? Naked chicken chips from Taco Bell. I've got the Pizza Hut. I'm at the Taco Bell. I'm at the combination Pizza Hut and Taco Bell. I mean, it's a weird asp weird thing this is, is that I feel um, I feel real compassion towards people for sadness and sorrow and loss. Where's the... But at the same time, like, if you're going to eat your way into the grave, I can't feel that compassionate because I'm a vegan. I, I see the way. I advise, you know, my advice is probably give it a look. <laughs> Don't want to push it down your neck or whatever, but uh, his name does sound German, doesn't it? Good old America. Might be Dutch. I don't know. I tell you what, it might be. It might be South Af Dutch, by the way, of South Africa. I don't know. <laughs> um, but now we're going to watch this rest in peace video, and it's going to make me a bit cry. Because I do like him. I like him as a person. He's dead. I like him as a person. He's got a fun character, in a way. I. Uh, even though I don't agree with any of these things that he's doing or promoting or the ideas that he's promoting or the idea that he should be showing it to children. It's kind of, in my opinion, a bit like grotesque and perverse. You know, that children should be able to watch this on YouTube, just revel in it. Um, you know, I'm not going to go on about people in the world can't eat or whatever, but, you know, it's just not up my street, this sort of stuff. But I like the guy, the person, personally. I think if we hung out, I wouldn't have a go at him about his behaviour all the time, all the time. Uh, and we just hang out and have a bit of fun, to be honest. I think we'd still find a way to have fun. But not now, because he's dead. Because, like, I mean, you can't eat all this, can you? And Anyway. Hi, 
Hi, Mrs. Tiny Tim Rao Shader here. I wanted to post a video on my husband's channel to thank everybody for their love and support during this difficult time. I also wanted to do a video of me drinking a lovely Mike's Hard. What? I, <laughs> I thought she was going to get me in the fields then. When was this? November the 4th, 2017. Um, I thought she was going to hit me in the fields then, but having to drink a what she's calling I don't know what it is it looks like a pint to me or she, a pint of, of hard of vodka thing I don't know if that's necessarily I suppose it might be a, a, a fitting way to trip a fitting tribute to the man harder lemonade that my husband liked to buy me I hate beer so I'm not gonna drink beer um, but again thank you everyone for all of your love and support um, and who's ever watched his videos, and if you were inspired by them, that makes it even better. Inspired to do what? <laughs> were you inspired by, I suppose you could be inspired by them to stop living that sort of grotesque lifestyle because it's gonna kill you. Uh, that could be inspiration, couldn't it? I suppose. In the same way as Nicocado Avocado is like eating himself to death as like an art project. But, uh, Oh, this this has taken us down a dark path, hasn't it? Um, so here we go. You can Here's lurk babe. away. Lurk away. Stay, stay, don't go away. <laughs> We're gonna watch this chuffer drinking this chuff chuffing hell. He died. Gotta drink it all now, you committed. <laughs> give, us, give us the burp. Holy crap! <laughs> hey. I had to end it with that. My husband would have been proud. Yeah, but he would have been proud. Were he not dead. So. <laughs> there's your original. There's your original Ralph Schneider. I get down the rabbit hole with this, and then I've got to get get us back. Original Rauschnader. I look at the moment of silence for Tiny Tim Rauschnader. Rauschnader. Did it come up straight away? No, I spelled it wrong straight away. Okay. And nowadays, like he started doing that ages ago. Nowadays, you get this. Got your proper thumbnail, things all distorted out of proportion to look massive, you know, using lenses and camera angles and stuff. And then, like, most of the time, they don't even eat all the stuff. Like, just look at the thumbnails, look at the thumbnail game on this, look at the thumbnail game on this. It's just like mad thumbnail. What happens if a cockroach smokes 26? Mad animal abuse thumbnail. Doing that, making a big pile, and like, you've got your face in it. Oh, I'm not having a good time. 17 million views for that. It all looks like rubbish to me. Underage kids ask for a lighter. What would you do? <laughs> what would you do? They've got cigarettes in their top pocket, mate. That's that's the issue. Underage kids. How can you be an underage kid? Are you too young to be a kid? You're just kids. Just kids then. So you're not underage kids. You're just kids. Kids ask for a lighter. What would I do? I wouldn't let them have a lighter, of course. That would be irresponsible. I'd have to go outside and light the cigarette for them and go back in the shop with it. <laughs> what would I do? I'd just say, no, chuff off your chuffer. Obviously, I'm not able to sell you a lighter. You've got to be more inventive than that, haven't you? You've got to go outside the shop and ask a member of the public if they'll sell you a lighter or if they'll buy a lighter for you. One that You've got to go outside and ask a member of the public. That's safer. I'll, I'll tell you something else what I'd do. Probably just hand them the lighter and say, don't worry, don't worry, lads. This is my last day in the job. I quit right here and now. You have the light. You have all the lighters you want, lads. Have all the lighters you want. And by the way, take some of these Rizzler because those marble ain't going to be any good for you. Take some of these Rizzler. <laughs> Hot pepper prank. That looks good, doesn't it? Nine years ago, 40 million views. Why is it? I don't get it. And I couldn't... I, I, that doesn't... To me, that doesn't look interesting. It just says 40 million views looks amazing, but hot pepper prank. 
prank. Oh, she's not having a good time. Obviously, she's just making the face for the thing, isn't she? Chili eating contest. Now we're talking. Because we are talking competitive eating, aren't we? Let's have a look at this. And then we'll get back to Chuffer Man. The Bath Chili... Is this in the UK? 2015. It's not modern. Hot Pepper Challenge. 20, University of Bath. Oh, this is in UK. This is the UK. We're repping. We're now repping the UK. I'm going to just mute that in case it's copyright music, but we're repping the UK. Let's have a look at what Guan. Okay, so you've got very straightforward system. Anyone that's competing has got your chili in the air. If you're competing, you've got your chili in the air. Simple system. All been designated a chili. Hold that chuffer in the air. Round one, and you just go through. You eat it until you're out, don't you? If you can't stand up, you can't stay in, you're out. But if you can keep eating chilies, you're still in. Now, I've got a simple... I'm just... Why is it? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me with my big face? Here we go. I've got a simple... I'll tell you a little story and a little simple way of cheating it. <laughs> you're not supposed to cheat it. Oh, you're not supposed to cheat it. But when I were a lad, when I was a kid, uh, we had conquer competition at Cubs. Probably spoke about this before. We had con competition at Cubs. We had conkers on strings, and you hit them with the you know conkers anyway. So <laughs> the, I'd been to Cubs a few years. So I knew what was, the score was. They come around with a load of conkers on strings. You have to pick a random conker. That's your conker for the evening by just selecting a string. And I thought to myself, like, I'm fed up of losing this conker competition. Every year I go out and collect some good conkers not allowed to use them in the most important conquer competition of my, my, my annual schedule at the age of like eight <laughs> so I went to Cubs this time armed with my best conkers armed with my best conkers they gave me the conker picked it off the string just that one in my pocket my conker came out of my pocket I'm ready to rock and roll top chuffing conker got to like the quarterfinals or the semi-finals before they noticed the one from my pocket had a slightly different bit of string on it I wasn't that sharp. I should have restrung it with that. That would have looked obvious. I'd have seen me restringing a conker. I just should have didn't know to have the same string as their string. Different string. What are you going to do? It got me through to the semi-finals. Anyway. My dad, when we did the egg and spoon race at school. You know, the egg, you have an, a spoon and you put an egg on it and then you run. Hey, all the egg's falling off. Oh, I'll pick that up. My dad told me, he said, put your thumb on the egg. <laughs> Stop it rolling off. So I did that. Ran. Came first. Disqualified. I didn't know it wasn't allowed. They not explained it to me. My dad told me to do it. Eight years old. So these sort of things pop in my mind. Now look, they're going to give you a chilli. You're going to hold it above your head. And it's going to go in your mouth. There's a number of ways of cheating this system. First of all, if you do have to eat it, just get it in, swallow it. You're not going to want to chew that up. None of that business. Get it in, swallow it. I can, me personally, Scotty Hotty can chew this. We're going to have to do some chili challenges because I can do a lot of uh, chewing and chopping of chilies. I'm all right with that. But a uh, funny story once at dinner table, <laughs> an Indian restaurant with my dad, my family and whatever, but uh, they had this bowl of chilies out on, on the table, like little whole chilies like that. And uh, are they hot? Do you think? What do you think? Are they hot? Oh. So what I said, is, I'll try one. And I just put the whole thing in my mouth, chewed it up and swallowed it. Just, they're all right, they're fine. Just held my nerve, just held my nerve until other people on the table started to grab them and pop them in their mouths. They were the hottest thing I'd ever eaten. But I had to just, I couldn't reveal they were hot. I just had to hold my nerve. So I could do it. I can hold my nerve after eating the hot things. I know that. But you're best off not chewing it up. Swallow it straight down. You don't even notice it's, you know, if it doesn't touch the sides, so to speak, that chilli... What happens in chilies in the little molecular? It's got little hooks. The hooks cause pain. Don't let it touch it. Get it down. In that same vein, I'd have a lot of saliva or uh, maybe a little sip on my, Maybe you're not allowed to drink the milk until the end. I don't know. But I'd have like a lining in my mouth as much as possible. I'd probably eat something quite fatty beforehand. Like, you know, not brush my teeth. <laughs> Line my mouth with as much... Uh, maybe a nice chocolate pudding or something like that. Get it all round in my gums and teeth. <laughs> Not going to be very attractive, not going to be very good for my dental hygiene, but it will prevent that chilli from stinging on the way down. And the other thing, obviously I'd have a couple of chillies secreted about my person that were similar sizes but not hot at all. 
And if at any point I could just drop that chili, oh sorry, got my chili there. Now, no one's going to expect you to come armed with chilies, are they? If you can have a few chilies in your pocket, you can swap them out, then you're golden. Then you're golden. You're chomping away. Everyone else is sweating, and you're just chomping away. Who knows? Maybe, maybe 30, 40 percent of these chilies are illegitimate chilies. <laughs> Round one. Green jalapeno. 3,000 Scoville heat units. I could eat a green jalapeno. How do you eat it? Up but look at the technique. Look, he's gone bitten the whole thing off. She's only bitten the tip. Like I said, bite that as much as you can, or as much as you can swallow in one, swallow without chewing. I know it's dangerous. Don't do that at home. You choke. But, you know, if we're competitive. Do you... A bit more there in the middle. Is that even? Give a round of applause. That's a jalapeno. So no, you have to start off soft. No one, no one was worried by the jalapeno, were they? Round of applause for a jalapeno. No one was bothered by the jalapeno. Round two. Now look, where did these chilies come out? Hang on. Where did look? Well, we don't see where the chilies came from. We don't see where the chilies came from. They've all got now a bullet chili. Bullet chili. I could eat a bullet chili. Could eat a bullet chili. Get it in your. Have a chuff on that. Nice bullet chili. What do you think? Everyone's all right with that. Serrano chili. These look nice. I'm just going to skim on because people seem to be <laughs> eating all their chilies. Oh look, there's some milk going on here. There's some milk going on. Let's see what we've got to here. Let's see what what caused the milk. Scotch bonnet. Now, I would expect a scotch bonnet to be difficult. And bear in mind, at this point, you've got a chance. His face, he's not enjoying it. You've got a chance so far to have warmed up to this, haven't you? Like, literally, you've been eating different kinds of chilies. So, you know, maybe your face is starting to tingle just from the amount of built up chili, you know, built up. Con I don't know. I wouldn't be chewing it like that, though. We'll be giving it the good chewy chew. Oh, look, we've got some problems here. What's she doing? She's having it. She's like pushing it around her teeth. Oh, and that's going to be painful. Eating technique is causing her problems. It's touching all of her mouth. She can't. There's not a part of her mouth that's not being touched by that chili. No, it's too hot. She's out. But not before she's touched every part of her mouth with the, with the hot chili that she can't tolerate. Tell you what that's going to do as well. There you go, got the milk. That's going to trigger in some other people the response as well. Look, he's gone for the milk as well. I, I knew it. As soon as one person goes, it's like a floodgate. He's out. They ate the chili though, so fair play to them. It's like a floodgate, isn't it? As soon as one person goes, it says to you, oh no, no, no more. A fatality. 400,000 scoble hooks. If you're up to this end and you've already eaten that previous chili, you're on the way. You're, like, you're on the way. You should be able to handle this, I think. If I've just eaten a scotch bonnet, I'm eating this, whatever it is. He's not having it. It's too much. She's shaking her head. She's eating it, though. They're probably asking her, do you want to quit? And she's like, no, chuff off me, chuffer. This guy got his hand up in the air for her. Look, they present them with their next chilies. Look, there's so much going on here, you could easily swap your chili out. You'd know what all the rounds were. You'd know which ones were the bad ones. Just bring a reasonably similar looking chili. Swapping out your chilies is the way forward here. Should be on web of a browser, shouldn't it? I'm not competitive eating. No, they are. They are. And these aren't even the chuff hello. <laughs> these aren't even the chuffers that we were supposed to be looking for. We're supposed to be looking for I should we just skip on to the end here and see what's going on with these chuffers. <laughs> They're yelling at them. So I've got my ah! and I've been working That's gone. It's this guy. Badlands Chugs. So I was just explaining that I'd seen a. He'd done a. 40 minutes, oh my god. Um, I was just explaining that I'd seen a short where he was drinking lemonade. 
And so I was, I don't know anything about him, so I was just going to have a look. And I only got as far as this. <laughs> and I was like, it's a reinvention of Rauschneider for the new generation, in a way, I guess. A reinvention of Rauschneider. Some better camera tricks, some better, th bigger thumbnail game. Somehow this is more acceptable to YouTube like this. I don't know. Should watch some then. I didn't, because what I didn't know is I thought he was going to be a professional eating man. Going around different professional competitions, like talking like strategy. <laughs> I didn't know it was just going to be like, oh, I'm just going to drink a giant thing. Muck banging. Didn't know it was that. The biggest glass of strawberry nest quick. Is that sponsored, I'm assuming? Mountain Dew. I suppose these all must be sponsored. If you're getting 17 million views, Mountain Dew has sponsored you. Haven't they? Definitely. That's better bean chug. Let's watch that because that looks horrible. Well, folks, life comes down to a few moments. And today, we're doing something unorthodox. We're chugging beans. Don't touch that mouse. What's this? Those food chugs. We are chugging Bush's best. I don't approve of the boot. I don't know why the glass has got a foot on it. I don't know why. I don't like it. It, it makes me feel uncomfortable. You got tins of beans. Honey sweet baked beans. Because what do you mean, honey sweet? I did a poll. You did a poll. Oh. Got a fire extinguisher there as well, in case things go wrong. Fiji water because you're sponsored by them. Weird. Okay, now we're gonna add a little water to it so oh. that it goes down. Nice and smooth. So we put some water in the middle, not too much. All right. Can number three. And you're just gonna force all these beans down. I mean, that's a good meal <laughs> for a family. Uh, you know, I had to sit around the house. Okay, this is the bomb. Hot sauce, you know the one famous on hot ones by Beyond Insanity. Well, when you put it at the bottom and mix it all in, okay, get that hot sauce in there. Well, let me see you apply your hot sauce. I want to see it going in. Big old chuffer. Here we are. And it can't be healthy, can it? Look at him. It can't be healthy. Here goes nothing. Oh. How much did I pour in? How much? More than that. Stop? No, because that's a little yeah, bit. Hey, what'd you say? Stop. I didn't hear you. What'd you say? That's, not, that's it. That's it? That's, that's it? it. Alright. I mean, he's not really going to taste that, is it? It doesn't really matter because he's going to mix it in with those beans and then just glug it back. I can't. I, there's something well off about this. I mean,. You've got to understand, this has got nearly half a million views on YouTube. This is insane. I'm actually in tears dying laughing. It's a legendary chug. I love how he was dying at the end, but he snuck in a don't touch that mouse. I died when he said hush dog eat. Like, people think it's funny. But in a way, like, it's got some sort of strange, grotesque quality to me. Introducing. I've accidentally pressed skip to carry on. I want to see you drink it then. It's Let's just floating. God. Let's see you put it inside your tummy. It's the whole thing. I don't know if I could do this, folks. But we're going to get as much of it as we can. It's a choke hazard. All right. You want to sip? Okay, hip hop? No, no, no. It's a choke hazard. Why are you turning the camera away? So what's happened is all that water's just gone straight off and now you can't get the beans down. You're trying to chug, 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 chug the beans. What you should have done is you should have blended it all up, shouldn't you? Like make a smoothie out of it, bean smoothie. You can't just chug the beans. It's not going to work. <coughs> He's chewing. Chewing, not chugging now. <coughs> oh. 
choking. Oh, look at that. Loving it. Do, 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 do. I'm going to smash him up with a spoon, I think. That's what he's going to do. I mean, that's gone really bad, hasn't it? It's gone really wrong. I mean, what you'd have been better off doing is just opening the tins and just eating the beans out the tin, if that's what... Look, 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 just like that, one at a time out the tin. What you've done here is you've made it more difficult, if if anything. <laughs> I mean, he's having more... Oh, it's, it's got the hot sauce in it, hasn't it? It's got the hot sauce. I was going to say he's having more trouble with the beans than uh, those people are having with the chilies. <laughs> Going in for some makes that carton look little, doesn't it? <gasps> oh, is that milk? Oh, that's the look. That's the look. The look of satisfaction. That's when you've had a really nice. You know, when you've had a nice dinner. You know, when you've you've sat down and you've had a really nice dinner. Really, and you think to yourself, actually, you know, sometimes life ain't so bad, is it? That came together well. Polish my plate off there, and you sort of sit back in your chair. Ah, like that. Nice dinner. Obviously, I've got, like, some sort of white. Obviously, I'm, I'm drooling, dro drooling from my nose, and I've got. My, all around my face, my eyes, all around my face and eyes as well, haven't I? Would you like some dessert, sir? <laughs> Had a nice dinner. Oh, it's in my throat. I think that's part of it, isn't it? It's part of these mukbangers, these new modern mukbangers, is to be like over the top and create a sort of thing and do a big face. Do a big face, isn't it? It definitely is, isn't it? Because no one pulls these faces day to day, do they? It's like, mate, I've got the camera on you, can you do another face? Do another uh, human toilet. That's what I think. Human toilet. So I thought he was a professional eater. He's, he is kind of a professional eater, isn't he? He chugs the ocean. This is a world record. This is presented. We see opportunity. This one's going to get us uh, copyright. This is presented on on Guinness World Records. Now, Guinness World Records just make it all up themselves. There's no official world record. Sometimes there's no world record at all, and someone just sets a brand new world record in something that nobody else has ever attempted. Uh, it's hard to regulate. It's just ridiculous. Guinness World Records is just there to sell books and stuff, isn't it? It's like a marketing thing. It's not really the world's record of anything. Like the, the, for example, if you run the fastest 100-meter race in the world, it's not regulated by Guinness. It's regulated by the Olympic Committee, isn't it? And the Athletics Committee. Right. It's just the Guinness also agree. <laughs> Guinness will certify you, but you have to pay. I think. I think you have to pay. So I'm going to pour this commercially available cola into the measuring cup. Let's do this, folks. Then there was a cut and edit. So you don't know that's the same cola. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. No better sound in the world than the fizziness of a fizzy drink. <laughs> Obviously, there are like definitely better sounds than that. And is he cheating? Because look at all the, all the, it's all coming out, all the bubbles. He wants that as flat as possible, doesn't he? So he can chug that. Yes, the whole two liters. All right. All right. Two liters. That is exactly at the line. Speed exactly. running Coca Cola. Okay. Pepsi this is a Are perfect the... chug. So 
let's get the picture so we have photographic evidence. Well, okay, okay. when you are filming it, mate. Yes, my son Brandon Booker, aka OK Hip Hop, is helping me, and he's a witness along with my wife for, for the attempt. All right, this is officially for Guinness, y'all, okay? Let's see. We had did another edit then. The drink too. We did another edit, and now this looks considerably flatter. I think they've got a flat, non fizzy liquid for him to drink here. Two liters of soda, okay? It's at the proper measurement right here. Just get on with it, you chuffer. How long is it going to take him to You're just pick it up? And... Another edit. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's good or not. I don't know, in terms of good, I know it's not good. I know that your body's going to be like, what the hell are you doing putting all this sugar in me all at once? What have you done that for? Oh, God, oh, I don't like this. None of this is natural. Oh, my tummy. <laughs> I know that's what your body's going to say, but like, and it didn't look very fizzy. I, I contest that. I think they cheated that. Um, but also, like, uh, I've never tried to drink a whole two litres of soda, so I don't know if it's hard. I suppose it is. I suppose 17 seconds is good or whatever, but uh, in competitive world terms, is that, are there other people out there? I mean, in speed running on Mario, I know what the, the, the sort of general ballpark scores are. I don't know what the general ballpark scores are here, but this is the world record, so it must be the best in the world, mustn't it? It must be that tough world record drinking. I know that the phenomenon of being able to open your throat uh, enables the high volume drinkers of the pub pub world the rugby players in the pub world to neck back the pints i've seen people swallow pints whole <laughs> gone like that so i imagine that i've seen people that can drink quicker than that to be honest they don't go like glug, 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 glug. it's just like the throat is open you pour it in it's gone as fast as you can pour is as fast as it goes that's what i've seen but that was, he's happy with that man I mean, look at it. Look what it's doing to him. To me, do I? No. <laughs> not only am I... I don't... I not. I don't know. <laughs> Naughty questions. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. That was delicious. I've never been a fast, like, drink you drink fast person anyway. Like, even at the pub. Uh, you know, when people are like, down it, yeah. I've, I still just like, hang on. Like, I like to just drink it my own time. I still can drink, you know, after, if I'm going to hit the bone, like, get that first one down you, it's gone in seconds. But uh, I'm not like a down it, down it, down it person. <coughs> Excuse the bad man. Sorry about that. Chuffing hell. Now that, that air came from inside his tummy and back out. He's happy with himself. It's not good for you though, is it? It's not good for you. Calling out YouTube soda chugging champion. Someone else is making a video, like they're doing like a collab. Why would you want to collab with that? Why would you want to associate with this? A hundred chicken nuggets speed run. Speed run, he's even got the word speed run. It's Ralph Schneider. It's Ralph Schneider, but no, it's speed running. It's Ralph Schneider for the new generation. Weird. Feed more than your body. Feed the fire inside. Quaker. Heart. I have a magical house. Shh. Magic? It's heart disease. Speed running a heart attack, isn't it? That's what it is. It's speed running heart disease. Look at the size of that McDonald's bag. I've never seen a McDonald's bag that big. There he is. All the nuggets. Eat them. Go on. I'll just skip it on. I don't have to see it happening. No, I've never, to be honest, I've never seen that many nuggets in one place at any one time. It reminds me of in Scarface where they have that big pile of cocaine on the table. <laughs> Look at them all. Oh, That's not good. Look, he's got pineapples and fruit and 100 chicken nuggets. Eight, nine... He's taking his, his. I would be. He's speed running, mate. You haven't got time to puff around. What are those no, 
those sauces should be arranged right in front of you know it should be wasting time reaching over here your drink should be on a little tube you shouldn't you spit every second counts mate every second counts You're having a drink chuffing around one left just get it down you talking it's not a speed run if you're talking and savoring it get away I mean, you can't still enjoy those nuggets by the end of that, surely. Surely you can't. It doesn't matter even if it's nice food. I wonder what rabbit hole he went down to find. Yeah, exactly. Well, the very first initial, the very first initial one was just, it came up as a short to do Chug's Lemonade. And I just, you know, you click on the short sometimes when it's just something random. So that's what took us here. <laughs> now I feel like I want to eat. Missing a one for the doggy. What? 20 missing. And one for the doggy. 79 McDuggets. Oh, I see. There were 20 missing off the order, so he couldn't do the challenge. What a chuff. Do you know what? I'd be so cross at McDonald's if I'd gone there specifically to buy 100 and they'd only served me 80. <laughs> it's ruined my YouTube video, McDonald's. You'd count them before you left. Open the boxes one by one. You'd have to because, you know, in the kitchen, they're like, who's ordered what? Oh, God. Get all the nuggets in the fryer right now. All of them. And if you can short them, nine nuggets a box. Nine, well, they do, don't they? Nine nuggets. I mean, you know, instead of whatever integer it is, take one off and short them on that and then make up another box for them. They'll think they've got the full wallop because there's so many boxes, they won't count them. I mean, what they're going to do, park them in a big pile on the table and eat them. But, uh, yeah, you got missing nuggets. So he couldn't do it. It does kind of make me want to go to... Uh, oh, I've made YouTube full screen, get that away. Makes me want to go to... Chuck Donald's. It doesn't. I hate Chuck Donald's. Makes you want to go to Chuck Donald's to go and get a hundred nuggets and see what it's like to eat them. In a way, but not not a big way. But it, other people who eat McDonald's all the time. I bet that makes them want to eat it. I bet you're complicit in the sale of McDonald's food. Twenty thousand views. Major League Eating. This wasn't his own personal channel. This is just Major League Eating. So this is where I thought we'd get to something like that. Major League Professional. <laughs> Seems to be him quite a lot. Oh, there's other people. What? There's belts on the wall. It's like a weird combination channel. Oh, here we are. There are famous comp look, competition. Famous hot dog eating. Announcement compilation. I don't want an announcement. Just want to see some people eating like, you know. Number one eater in the world, Joey Chestnut. There's a rival, there's a challenger. Now, Joey Chestnut doesn't look like a big overweight chuffer. But, you know, you can be destroying your organs from the inside. Look, there's Rick. <laughs> Oh man, look at it. Look at it, they've all got the hot dog hats on. There's loads of them there. Look at it. <laughs> they take it seriously. The sponsors, look at the size of the event. Look at them chuffing it down. So there's belts, they've got belts. This is what we should have got to at the start. This is where I wanted to... We've done the hour. <laughs> this is where I wanted to start. I can't believe this. I've run out of uh, reaction commentary because my brain. And it's 11 o'clock at night now. It's naughty, naughty night time. So I'm going to go. And uh, I'm going to go and you be good. And if you can't be good, then uh, we've got some hot dogs for you to eat. <laughs> and not only that, but the competitive pressure of an entire industry resting on your shoulders unless you can finish them, so. <laughs> You'd be good. <laughs>